316 stainless steel is a go-to for many different industries using woven wire mesh, like in chromatography. But there's an argument to be made for 904 stainless steel as well. I'll explain everything you need to know, so stick around. Hi, I'm Sam Badger and I'm the sales manager for Engineer Products here at WS Tyler. 300 series stainless steel alloys are predominantly used to weave woven wire mesh, but 904 stainless steel is known for having an exceptional list of qualities to help it perform under the harshest of conditions. So how does 316 stainless steel compare to 904 stainless steel? With over 150 years of woven wire experience, WS Tyler truly believes that understanding how the two differ will better equip you to make informed decisions that are needed to implement an effective chromatography operation. So in this video, we'll go over what 316 stainless steel is, the benefits of 3 stainless steel, what 904 stainless steel is, and the benefits of 904 stainless steel. The key differences between them and which alloy makes sense for you. 316 stainless is a popular woven wire alloy that stands as one of the more widely used 300 series stainless steel alloys. It's made up of 16% chromium, 8% nickel, 2% molybdenum, and under 1% carbon. Having less than 1% carbon places 316 in the low carbon alloy category. The resulting effect of having minimal carbon is reduced amount of carbide precipitation. Since it doesn't occur naturally, molybdenum is added to 316 in its molten stage. This will bond the molybdenum on a molecular level. The resulting effect is a stabilized stainless steel alloy that has increased resistance to corrosion. And the resistance to corrosion is further enhanced because of the lack of carbon in the alloy. This makes 316 stainless steel a perfect fit for heavy exposure to moisture. And with it being a low carbon alloy, that of course makes it much less susceptible to rust. 904 stainless steel is an austenitic stainless steel alloy that's widely used for demanding applications where more standard stainless steel alloys fail. These numbers are going to slightly vary in some aspects, but it's made up of 45% iron, 19% chromium, 23% nickel, 4% molybdenum, 2% manganese, 1% silicon, 0.045% phosphorus, 0.035% sulfur, and 0.020 carbon. And because of that very low percentage in carbon, 904 is also classified as a low carbon alloy. The inclusion of molybdenum stabilizes the alloy, making it extremely resistant to corrosion. And 904 has a very exceptional resistance to pitting and crevice corrosion. So in addition to that, 904 is known for its incredible strength and durability. These qualities work together to ensure the alloy can deal with the mechanical stress and pressure loads found in critical applications. And with that strength and durability, it'll give the mesh a long lifespan. I should also say that 904 delivers great heat resistance, which will help with those demanding woven wire applications. While both solutions can be used to fabricate reliable woven wire chromatography filter plates, there are some key differences. Those differences that can make or break performance are corrosion resistance, chloride resistance, alloy strength, and of course cost. 316 stainless steel is known for its exceptional resistance to corrosion, even in harsh environments. It can withstand most of the chemical and acid exposure associated with the chromatography process. That being said, 904 is known to provide even better resistance. It's often used in place of other stainless steel alloys in the harshest environments, especially if the woven wire is subjected to sulfuric acid. Since both 316 and 904 are low carbon alloys, corrosion isn't as big of a factor, but it should be noted 316 can be vulnerable to chloride pitting and crevice corrosion. 904 offers vastly superior resistance to chloride corrosion. 316 is an inherently strong woven wire alloy that can be applied to generally any application. 904 does deliver superior strength that allows it to withstand demanding applications that place an increased amount of mechanical stresses on the mesh without deforming. And with 316 stainless being considered as a standard woven wire alloy, 904 is gonna have a heftier price tag than 316. As with any woven wire application, the alloy you should use is completely different based on the needs of the application. The parameters of the chromatography process, usage conditions, and industry standards should all be considered when making that decision. But if your operation is relatively mild, you've qualified the 316 as working, and you must adhere to a budget constraint, 316 may be the more suitable choice. Now, if your woven wire filter plates will be subjected to a highly corrosive or chloride-rich situation, and you have the budget to accommodate the higher price tag, 904 will most likely offer the more efficient results. Thanks so much for watching. 
If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many other products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be an expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Sam Badger, and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.